15, 9, 16. We've got Glass now and the Rays at minus 174. Cal Quantrill and the Guardians at plus 154. Total of eight with some juice to the under at minus 120. Base winner, let's start with you here. I'm back in glass now and the Rays here. Uh, Cal Quantrill has not been great. Now, it's kind of weird. I don't know what the hell's happening with my database this morning, but it does not want to include Cal Qu Quantrill. I can't, he was there last night, but today, you know, I don't know if that happens to you sometimes where you're like, what the hell is going on with the computer or my, my database? But I can't get this damn player in there. But last night, if I remember correctly, he's an 894 weighted OPS for Cal Quantrill. I think glass now is exponentially better. When you look at the run line in the first five innings, it's minus 140 to the Rays. I'm getting the double result at even money, so I'm taking Rays double result. Uh, Guardians, it's interesting. Uh, this would have been what we talked about at the beginning of the show. They're the Of all the teams that are picking up uh, the trash from the Angels, the Guardians seem to be the team that uh, wanted all these players. They're going to try to make a run, it looks like, at this AL Central. I, I'm not exactly sure why, or they think they're five games out and they can get there. But for me, it's all Rays all day. I like how Glass now profiles. Double result, even money. What do you got on this one? Yeah, I agree with you. I, I don't think Quantrill's very good. I have him 10% worse than an average pitcher uh, by my ratings. And then Glassnell's number four, the BW number four, if you will, and really good numbers, 28.7 uh, strikeout percentage, last 150. Stuff plus is, is brilliant, 96th percentile. Uh, BBK is good, 0.25. And I, I think that we get a, a, a big edge offensively too, and, and, and I – I don't know if this is being calculated enough in the, in the handicap, but I've got the, and I, I don't love the Rays offense. I have them 10th in baseball, but that's pretty good. 14% better than average. I, this, this Guardians uh, uh, offense is, is not very good by my numbers. Uh, 25th in baseball, 5% worse uh, from a runs created standpoint. And it, it shouldn't be uh, like, you know, you should be league average at least like with, with your, all your starters, like with runs created, but they're not. And, uh, you know, I played it first five. I, I, I just think that that's, that gives you the, the most bang for your buck, if you will. And I went to Rays, Rangers, base winner parlay, both first five. And when it hits, it's plus 157, guys. So uh, I, think that's a, I think that's the best way to attack the card today. Uh, and we'll talk about that Rangers game, I guess, in, in just a couple seconds. Yeah, and I should point out, I also have a base winner parlay. I'm kind of doubling down on my two double results and putting them in a money line parlay. I'm doing my base winner parlay today, and the Rays are the first leg of that. I want to point something out before we get Jason's take on this game, and it's something that might go into the radar, but it really made me happy. When we started this season, right, and my dumb ass is making these jokes, and people are like, what the hell is going on with this Bet US baseball show, right? This isn't what it used to be. And Mark Holmes, I remember, he's like, yeah, I like Kyle, but let's just talk more baseball. Well, do you know the comment we just got from Mark Holmes now? We have brought him to us. We've searched for him. We've lost him. We found him. He says, forget the games. We are here for the race and the rap. And that is what I'm talking about, my <laughs> friends. That makes me very, very, very happy. Thank you. <laughs> just thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Jay, Guardians picking up Giolito, picking up Ronaldo Lopez, who I think is the best piece of all of those, uh, of all the players who were released. I think it's it's Lopez. And that other kid from the bullpen was pretty good, too. Uh, base winner would know his name better than I do. Uh, but what are your thoughts here? Rays, Guardians. I'm getting a minus 175, 180 favorite here at even money on the double result. I just don't see how the Guardians score um, on glass now tonight. I'd love to see the Guardians make a run and win the division. Uh, so it was nice to see him with, the, you know, make these pickups and, and at least, you know, try to be competitive. And, and I, I don't know what, what they're thinking. And maybe I, I was trying to think maybe they, they think they're blocking them from getting to better teams or something. But that wouldn't make much sense either. It really, you know, you only pick these guys up if you're trying to win games yourself right now. Um, but today, glass now, <clears throat> obviously the advantage here. Got to lay a big price with the Rays. So no play for me. But, uh, yeah, if the Guardians are going to make a run, it's like got to start winning games like this right now. Yeah, and I hope they don't because I just don't think they do. Cal Quantrill, he's really struggled. This Rays offense, look, they're not the same without Wander Franco. We know that. And that situation is just getting worse and worse and worse. It's very likely Wander Franco never plays another game in the major leagues again. I mean, we're in that that type of uh, scenario with him. Uh 
the Reds should be able to get to Quantrill. I do like the 640 weighted OPS glass now against the Guardians. I don't think that offense is very good. So for purposes of this show, I mean, the chat box is on fire today. Oh boy. Uh, for purposes of this show, we got focus here. I've got the Rays double result at plus 100. For it's the first leg of my base winner parlay on the money line as well. And for base winner. He's taking the Rays' first five. You can ignore that Texas one right there. We'll get to that in a moment. The Rays' first five as the first leg of his official base winner parlay as well. So a lot of stuff going. Let's go, Rays. 